price floor. Typically, we do price floors with uh, agricultural products. They can be with any product, but typically in the United States, we do use them with agriculture like corn, wheat, barley, soy. It is a minimum legal price a seller can sell a product. It can't go any lower than this price. The goal is to keep the price high by keeping the price from falling to equilibrium. So equilibrium price is $3 in this graph. And then what you do is you actually set the price floor above it, it must be above equilibrium to be effective. So price it at four, there is a surplus. There is a surplus QS is greater than QD. So this is your price floor. This is the surplus area. And typically without the price floor, the surplus would drive prices down and you would eventually get to three, but the price floor keeps that from happening. Does this help corn producers? So typically what we do find is corn producers will produce it for, they'll overproduce. The supply is too high. So a lot of the corn is wasted. It can be given to poor people. It can be shipped off to Africa. It could be shipped to different places. It could go to waste. Uh, sometimes it means that corn producers will actually work on and off. So they might work, work one year, produce so much, and then the next year they don't. So uh, there is a surplus in the market. It, the price is too high and it's not, the quantity is different. So it causes in a, in equilibrium, disequilibrium in the market. So this is a price floor. Remember to be effective, it must be above equilibrium. If it was at $2, if the price floor was at two, it would be non-binding. It would not be an effective price floor and it would have do no good because price is at three and it wouldn't go lower, it'd be fine there. So the price floor must be higher than the equilibrium.